Right, we're going to do a video today on the Range Rover Sport L494. We have already fitted carbon to these end bits and we've been distracted by our Defender and we haven't fitted the rest of the kit. So we are going to show you how to remove this rear, this sorry, center console. We're going to show you how to remove this front fascia and everything in this middle bit. Your gear, the gear controller is going to come out. So we're going to do that. And let's have a look over here, Tyler. These are the bits we are gonna fit. We, no, you're doing the work today, Tyler. Right then, so we've got all this carbon fiber, lush carbon fibery stuff. Um, one point to note, and we'll go into it, if we do it later, we'll do it later, is that the careful if you're buying the center console bits, because there's two types, and they one, the easiest way to tell is where the gear changes at the back near the, um, near the armrest, the early ones, the, the, the cup holdery slidey tray thing is not concentric. Um, whereas on the later ones, it's straight across. Right, let's dive straight in the car. So bear with right, you go in the driver's side, Tyler, I reckon. We will try and do this. It's gonna be a little bit complicated. Actually, we're gonna start in the back, haven't we, Tyler? We have got to start in the back. Um, so right then, so yeah, we're gonna, so the first thing we need to take out really, the crux to it all are these hockey sticks, and they are a pain. Um, but the easiest way to get them out is to remove the rear console. Now I did do a video on the rear console, but it's dead easy, so we'll jump and do it now. Because the hockey sticks need to be lifted from the back. Now I apologize for the lighting, but it's, let's, let's, um, let right, me get the torch, tires. there's too grisly in here. That's better, there we go. Right, entirely far away. That's already. Grab under it. Give it a pull from the bottom. And the sides. And that, that comes out with the control again. We've done the more detailed video on that, so we'll yeah, rattle through if you get stuck at this stage. And then a little, little Rip top that. canopy. You will have two bolts for some reason, we've got one. <laughs> no, yeah. What are they? Eight millimeter yeah, socket. Eight millimeter. <clears throat> Oh. Just give it a pull. Right, okay. There's a connector. There's a connector. You can leave it there though. We'll leave it lying yeah. on the floor because we're not doing that back bit, are we? So, right, we are done. Right, let's jump in the front. Right, let me put the seats right back. So, we're hopefully going to be able to give you. It's going to be a bit tricky because we're. Hold on, let me get my zoom right. There we go. Actually, this wide angle is pretty lush on this. I'm gonna, yeah, um, right then. That's it, it's much easier, right, I've got my torch sorted, right, and Tyler. So this front panel, now let's get this right. So you've got to take it from the top first, haven't we? Yeah. So the top, so you grab the top, your side, and then you rotate it down, and then you've got to go down, that's it. Right, and that's that, chuck that up on the windscreen there, Tyler, you know, you reckon? All right. Yep. All right. Okay, right, so take a breath, right. This is going to be quite arduous, but, don't worry about it, it's no big stress. You just gotta do a bit at the time. Now, right, now I think you're gonna have to lean over, Tyler, and do this one. I reckon the hockey stick's next, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? So you've gotta grab it at the back, so Tyler's gonna demonstrate. What have you got in there? You're gonna try and pull that up from the back. Go on. He hasn't got a lot to grip on. Right, oh, now he's gone a bit keen, but demonstrate the motion you're supposed to do in the sort of slower motion, Tyler. So it'll be jammed in the front and you're supposed to sort of pivot about the front edge. Right, just show the motion, Tyler, you don't need to, so that the back comes up, that's it, like that, and then you slide it forward, that's it. That's the motion you're looking for. You're not gonna make an air hostess, Tyler. You're not very good at, here's the exit, right? Do, the, do your side, Tyler. Let's have a look. We can't see him, but we'll, we'll let him fumble away with that. There you go. Right, chuck those in the back. I can't sit down there. He's chucking it in my seat. Right, okay. So I, I, yeah. Right then. So now we are ready to remove these. So you don't need to remove the screen, right, if you are just going to do the center console. We'll leave the screen till later. What we've got to remove next is that heater fascia. Now you've got to remove the heater fascia because it's sort of sat on top down there. So, and it's no, it's no big deal. Right, so there you go. So you've got your eight millimeter socket set, Tyler. 
Right, and then four screws. Do the ones this side because they're easier to see. Right, where's our little red pot? Oh, it's in the in the instrument cluster, Tyler. Grab your little red pot, put him on there. We're replacing it, so we're not worried if we're scratching. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now. Look at me. Pro filmmaker now, Tyler. Right, there you go. How's that right? So let me just have a look at those. Yep, so there you go. There are those sort of silver, and Tyler's got two on his side. I can speed that up or cut that out. Or leave it in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we've got to do it, they can watch it, Tyler. They can suffer as we see. <laughs> Right. Yeah, so this now someone's asked, can we upgrade this heater control panel to the later type? And that's something we will look at getting one off eBay or other e commerce platforms are available. All right, that pulls away. All right, now there was a connector in the back, but he's got quite a good lead on him, hasn't he? Let's have a look. Where are, oh, let me get I can't see what I'm looking at, Tyler. Go on then. Yeah, so oh, he's all wrapped up in that little spongy yeah. ball, isn't he? Yeah, there you go, Tyler. So if you get in there, it's a standard connector. There's a little release tab we'll have a look at. Can we see the release tab? Is that on the... That's on this one. Ah, yeah, right, yeah, there you go. Is that, let's have a look. Yeah, you press that in and that releases that. So let's have a little look at that, Tyler. So that old unit there, right. Is, right, so that's it, chuck him in the back. Right. In the pile. In the pile, right. So it's not doing too bad, right. So now let's just have a little recap, Tyler. I reckon we can try and lift out this center console, but first we've got to undo those little screws, yeah, do the ones on my side. 25. So, yeah, so all, right then, so there we go, lift that up. Oh, it's a good job you've got long arms, Tyler. Look at that. How can you reach the foot, passenger footwell from the driver's seat? I'd be amazed. All right, and I can't really see on that side so well, but yeah, there we go. Oh, we've magnetized. Oh, magnetized, yeah, trick. Yeah, how do you magnetize it, Tyler? We'll have to tell them that, top tip. Sure you, you need, yeah. Magnetism is your friend in this video, isn't it? We are not magic. Right, there you go, yeah, come on. Right, so there's, yeah, keep him there. So yeah, you leave those silver screws there in the middle of the screen, but it's those. Now, of course, we've obviously painted the screws orange is what we do, we just love orange. Mm -hmm. Even the torx bit then, the it's part of being ginger, you've got to color everything orange. Tyler's not ginger. Well, some parts. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Too much. Thing. Right then. My beard, I mean. Your beard. Right then. Um, right, so that now should, Tyler, remind me, because we have just done this, we've practiced this. Right, get your, your tray out of the way, and I reckon you should better gently lift that out. So it's sort of tucked under quite close at the front, so I think you've got to lift over the, at the back, and there's a couple of electrical connectors, isn't there, lurking, yeah. so don't go ripping it too wildly. Right, what's 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 fighting you, Tyler? Ah, so you, ah, you got to lift, lift, so that you get your. So there's a little ledge at the back there. Get you under that, and that just gives you a bit more movement. Does ah, and that gear change always, always. You got to keep that right forward, isn't it? Because that gear change always fights you, Tyler. Slide it forward as much as you can. That's it. It's the back edges of this gear change here. Always catch on this, this sort of armrest assembly. Right. Yep, yeah, fiddle with that, and also you've got to then, there we go, we're, on, we're under now. Yep, yeah, we can see them. So you have to furl around there. There are some little release tabs in the middle somewhere. There you go. Where is he? There he is. Always around the other side. Right, and that's just your two connectors off, and you are away to go. Look at that. Right, look at that. Hold, hold on, let me zoom out. Whoop, there you go. Look at that. That is incredible. So that is that bit ready. So shall we keep going with that Tyler now? Ah, oh, no, we've got to take the cup holder out, Let's We'll put that down to one side for the minute. Have you got any room left? Right, next we've got to get this cup holder assembly. This cup holder assembly is held in with four screws. So there's two sort of right at the back, if you like to point those back ones out. Oh, sorry, that's the front Tyler, yeah. It's the front of the cars where the wheels are. Yeah, one there and one there. And then there's two at the front that are right at the front edge of, so you've got to have your slidey cup, you've got to have your slidey bit all the way to the rear. <laughs> yes, all right, go on, let's do those all there. I'm now confusing myself, yeah. Having ridiculed you, Tyler, for not knowing your front from back. Thorn in my eye. Yeah, I got all that left and right wrong in the old winch video. Have we recovered from the winch video yet, Tyler? Oh, I was just about. 
Magnetism. It's, it's, it's yeah. getting quite a well topical video, isn't it, Tyler? The, uh, what's that bloke's name? I'll give him a shout out. Andre Saint Pierre Dennis or something. He was using it as a. Ah, oh, we we left those in, did we, Tyler? Did you, we just we'll have a look. Uh, and not left them in. We, if we haven't got enough magnetism, can we just lift out yeah. the cup holder and they'll come out with it? Do you reckon you got all four done? Did you do both front ones? I know. Here we will. There you go. Yeah. Appears yeah, to have. Ah, there oh, there's a connector for the for the cigar lighter, isn't there? I think he's clipped again at the front. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Pushing him up at the Push front. Him up. Well, we'll have a look at those clips. Well, oh, you see, you haven't taken no, that no, fourth no. one out. You see, I. Dear. He's just gung ho. Right, on the wall. I did tell him. I did tell him. Youth, don't listen, see. Right then. All right, you got your connect. Show us that connector you took off. Oh, he hasn't oh, taken no. it off. He's, He's just taken it for a walk. Right now, yeah, so no, note, these screws are bigger than the other screws we've taken out. These have got a Tilx T25. They're a little bit fatter. So the eight screws that you need for this centre console and the cup holder are all bigger than the others you will use. So there they go. But oh, yeah, because yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're, the they're all the same so far. Yeah, yeah. Right, Torx T25 for all this we've done so far. It will change in a minute. Right, and then you can remove that cigarette lighter. Tricky. I'm need a little... Is it tricky? You're going to need a little doobie doobie. Hold on, dodgy editing. All right, what was that? What do you? Yeah. Hold on, let me get back on it. Yeah. He hasn't got a press tab here. He's got a little. Oh, he looks like a right palaver. I'm going to zoom in a bit. You're fighting him, Tyler. There is. Right, so what, what's the story then? What's the... He's got that little... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there. you just got to sort of press that in, haven't you? Yeah, but you haven't got any method of pressing no. him in apart from where he's located. You've got to jam him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, and the cup holder. So, right. Stop, take a breath. So we have now got the two bits, we, well, the three bits we need. So we've got the front fascia, Tyler. So should we take a, should we go over to the um, glass table? People don't, they're unsure about my glass table. Oh, can you grab that light? And we will now do the, the fascia here, we'll swap that. The main fascia here and the cup holder lid. So we'll take those three parts. We will show you how to do that. And then we will come back and Actually, we'll do a separate video. We'll do a separate video for how to remove the screen and the nav unit, and we'll we'll link that. So if you want to do that, we'll pick up from here. Right. We will leave viewers who are interested in that now, and we will go over and do the carbon fascia upgrade. Right. So the first thing we're going to take is this. What oh, is the cup holder slider assembly? Right. So we're just going to do these one at a time. Now, right. So I've got the two parts here so this is the let me get this right this one here on the right is the later type you can see it's a longer one so if you're buying one of these on eBay and the early type is the shorter one so make sure you get the right type the lid is the same between the two so this process will be the same so we are going to focus on this one on the left all right and look, interestingly they've got rid of the cigarette lighter as well so that's another if you've got the cigarette lighter one you've got the early one Without the later one, right? Push that one to the side, Tyler. Right. So the first thing we need to do is there's a series of screws along the the edge. Yeah, oh, I've got zoom technology. There you go. Go on then. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So there's one, two, three, four on each side. And what are they? A Torx T8? Are they, yeah, Tyler? T8. I'm on a stool above Tyler, so we've got a little bird's eye view of him. He's done four already, just to speed it up a bit. Let's have a look at one of those screws, Tyler. I'm all the way up here now. <laughs> yeah, so they're just little. Woo. There you go. Right. And that removes these. He's gone too quick. Look, he's raced off. Where's us looking at the screw? And he's raced off. Right then, yep. So that is the little. Oh, whoa. Is that supposed to happen? Ah, so it's got two little side rails, has it? And get those the right way around, Tyler. Well, there's a. We got a. Ah, they've written uh, outboard. It's like a flipping boat. Yeah, outboard and inboard. Are they? Are they? Aren't they nautical terms, Dyla? Yeah. They are. <laughs> right. Yeah, it would do to you. You're ex-navy. 
Right then. So now we've got to separate. So if you show us the wooden one, show us the new one next to it. And is, in fact, is that it, Todd? Do we need to... Well, we've got... There is no a plastic base. We've got to swap over. That's right. So there's a plastic base on this one that we need to swap over. Sorry about the dodgy camera. Work. I've got to swap the plastic base from there to there. So, Tyler, you've got to work out how to, without breaking it. Let me, let me come down to your level, Tyler. Right then. Woo. Right then. So... It's got these funny little triangly bits here um, that uh, you can see there. And on this one, it, it looks like it sits in with two fingers yeah. that are sort of clamping it, sort of little prongs coming down. So we'll, we'll stop the video and we'll pretend we know what we're doing and work out how to release those without breaking it. Right, we think we've worked it out. It looks like the two, well, we have worked it out, the two, the plastic base actually slides off. So these little clips here, the, um, let me just have a look. Yeah, they, we, we need to fire this plastic frame with these two clips down. Um, so if you probably try and, you know, you've got to pull that plastic bit down, Tyler, and you just slide it down. You've got quite a lot of force, there you go. And then you can lift it off, okay? So that was easy. So you, yeah, this is a better picture here. You can see, you can see those clips see there. And then it just, it goes up and grips on it. So, right, so put that one to the side, pick up the new one, leave the cellophane on it for the yeah. carbon one, leave the cellophane I would on there. And then you've got to put that on, Tyler, and fire, fire it into, you know, get it the right way around. Yeah, it's the right way. Yep, you got it. So the square head, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to make sure all those line up, yeah. And then pull it, yeah, I put it against my stomach and did that and just give it a good. Yep, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Right, so Tyler now will reassemble that. So make sure you get your inboard and outboard and the screws and we'll get that back. We'll put that to one side and then we'll get on with whoa, these other bits. Right, now we are going to do this fascia. Um, we're going to show how to take this gear change out. So again, I'll just recap. We've got the two here. So the late type, which is 18 on, has a sort of sort of curvy area edge here. And then these two edges are collinear in line. There you go. Right. And the early one, which we're using, is more angled. It's like a... And then these two are staggered. Right, so let's just check that's correct. So yeah, this is the, it's this bit you're looking at staggered. That's right, if you put it the same way up. So there we go. So right, so we've just got to plop this gear change mechanism terrain response module out. So you have got a series of orange screws that I have colored in. We have got, how many have we got, Tyler? Four on each side. Oh, eight in total. Eight in total, so yeah, Tyler's gonna do that. Uh, Torx T20. Right, so there are the, the quite long screws there. They're all the same. He's just got those ready. You know, we put a bit of foam down on the work surface. So when, you, when you've got, obviously, it depends whether you're replacing them all, but you're going to need it for the new bit. So, yeah, that's the, that's the screws there. That's the module. That's, oh, there's another one. They're all flying out. Right, so flip over your new. Right, that's it. Now, that's... That's got, now hold on, this Ooh. trim here. Oh, that looks oh, no. different, Tyler. Whoa, is this different? What's going on? Yeah, no, 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 hold on, what are we looking at? Ah, oh, no, we're gonna have to swip that over, aren't we? Oh, it's same. Hold on, let's have a look. Yeah, we need to get that bit out though, don't we? So how does that fix in? Is that another working out thing, Tyler? Oh, it's just the clip. Right, we've worked this out, so what's the plan? So it's just this, we've worked out, so yeah, it's just this little bit here. So you at the top, you've got to press the top out. And it's it's on some little press on the press on the that's on that inner bit that's exposed, Tyler. Just push it away from you, and then it slides. So yeah, you can see. Let's just see which edge that is. Actually, flip it over, Tyler, because that'd be. So it's this slightly rounded edge you you've pushed up, and then you push the whole assembly. You should be able to do it that way up, Tyler. You should be able to slow the whole assembly back. Slides out, yeah. So if we look at that, so on this flat edge here, you can see we've got these little clips. 
at the back. So they're hooked, so that's why you need to slide it forwards to release those hooks. And then at this end, hopefully the camera will focus a bit, you've got these sort of, I'll put my finger behind it, you've got these slightly just rounded bulbous clips that do that. What else have we got there, Tyler? Are we going to need the, the sort of docking bits for the clips, are we? Yeah, because we've only got a hole in this one. Yeah, so we need to swap those over as well, yeah. Push one out. They cut out. Back was awful. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You might just have to grab those with a pair of pliers, I think. Squeeze them a little bit. So where's the one you took out? Let's have a look. So, yeah. So those little clips there, they're sort of, you can see that, they're a little... There you go. That's, right, get your new panel over, Tyler. You should be able to do it all that way up, Tyler. Keep it that way up. Save damage in the surface. And I reckon, yeah, pop those babies in. Don't break it. Don't break it. No problem. Right, and I reckon you can leave it that way up and slide that, slide that hook under the back first. That's it. And then support it underneath. Pinch it together, otherwise you'll be... Oh, make sure that back edge is clipped under. There we go. Job done. Right, so that's... That was... Right, we weren't even banking on I'm going to do that right now. And then, you know, obviously you have to flip it over now, Tyler, and then reinstall your gear change assembly. Yeah, and the screws will only line up one way. Right, we will leave Tyler to put that back in, and I think it's lunchtime now. So we're going to have some lunch, and we'll come back and do the rear console after lunch. Right, we're all refreshed. We're ready to do the heater control panel now. We just flip that carbon one over, Tyler. It looks like we haven't done this yet, but it looks like we've just got four of these clips here. Um, four metal spring clips in the corner. So I think it should just be a pull-off, pull-on, shouldn't it? So there we go, Tyler. See what you can do. Where can you get in on that top? You want a bit of sort of... Oh, there you go. Where I get a grip. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is really easy, isn't it? There you yeah. go. Yeah. And the new one even comes with the metal panels. Yeah, you can leave the plastic on for now. Or, or not, maybe. It's not going to go. Yeah, we'll take it off. We'll be careful with it. We're not savage, are we? Yeah. Oh, that actually does look mint. Absolutely mint. I do like carbon. It's not as popular in the US. The US guys love the carbon. It's, it's taken on the UK. Right. What have we got to do next, Tyler? We've got to get that whole. So we've done the heater panel. I forget which ones. I'm so refreshed. That's, that's it, isn't it? That's it. That's all three. Right. So we will go and reinstall these in the car. That's it, little showcase tyre. So we've got the heater panel. We have got that. Yeah, take all the paper off of them. So we are gonna now put all these three back. I don't think there's anything we need to show you particularly about putting them back. When we put it back before, the only tricky bit was getting those wires in that gear change panel. It was a little bit tricky, wasn't it, Tyler? Because we had to sort of hold it up yeah. to get those connections in. That was a bit tricky. But everything else should be fairly straightforward. So. Anything else you want to say, Tyler? Not that anyone can hear you. No, right. It's so straightforward. It's we, we will go and put it back. To, well, we will go and put it back in now. Any tips and tricks we get, we will film or tell you at the end. And then at the end, we will film our carbon kit because that is everything in the car. Um, these are for sale on the website, these carbon kits, although I'm not sure if we've got stock at the moment. Right. There we go. Let's, let's have a look. Let's get it all back together, Tyler. So, Tyler has put it all back together. No particular problems. He said he missed a couple of connectors and had to go back and do them, but generally just took his time. He said obviously it was trickier than taking it apart because when we took it apart, we were not that worried about all the black gloss and if it had any scratches or marks, we just took it out. But obviously when you've got that lovely carbon with that high gloss finish, you don't want to be, when you're putting the heater face, you don't want to be scratching the main flat console. But it's all gone back together and it all looks good. Tyler will show you round now. So you might as well look at all the carbon as we're there. Tyler, so we've got the door cards. We've got the, we've upgraded to the opening door pockets. We've got carbon here. We've got the, gun we've got metal. the gunmetal handles. We've got the end dash ends. 
we've now got this. I think we do a cover for these in carbon, Tyler. You'll have to book one of those out of stock. Go and raid the warehouse and fit that. We have got the full sports grip red stitch carbon steering wheel. And again, all the videos are online for these. We've got the main console, all our sliding cover works. We've got the rear console if you jump in the back and the rear door. Oh yeah, it's a bit dark, but there we go. You can see that looks, when I, actually, I think that's one of the best ones, that rear console, that looks great. Uh, just the way it catches the light looks really good. And we've got all the door trims. Oh, actually a good view from the front. I might take a picture there for the, for the YouTube video, Tyler. But there we go. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's good to get the L494 out again. We, we have got a bit distracted with our new Defender. We do like it though, don't we, Tyler? Um, we like all the cars. But we, we had to have a break from it after the winch. I think, I think we just needed a bit of space to ourselves. The Defender and us, we needed a, a little gap. So there we go. We'll do some more videos on the L494. Sorry it's taken us ages to get that full carbon video done but now you can change the interior fascia kits on your and i'll try and link the video below so that you can see all the other videos in youtube because they're a sort of series of videos um, that go through all the steps thank you for watching